Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. Let's see what we're going to start today off with. Uh, ba, 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 ba. The C5B Galaxy. Alright. Title Lockheed Galaxy USAF Designation C5. Type Heavy Logistics Transport Aircraft. Program. In early 1978, Lockheed received a USAF contract to manufacture two new sets of wings for the C5A of a design intended to increase service life of 30,000 hours. Apart from the moving surfaces, these wings are a virtually new design using 7175 T7351 one aluminum alloy for greater strength and increased resistance to corrosion and were built under subcontract by Avco Aerostructures Textron. The first re-winged Galaxy was delivered to the USAF in early 1981, and the remaining 76 in operational service were fitted with new wings in a modification program which was completed in July of 1987. Under a $10 million 1986 contract from the USAF, the Georgia Division commenced modification of C-5As to enable them to carry oversized space shuttle cargo that was beyond existing airlift capability. Design Features Cantilever High Wing Monoplane, Wing Section NACA 0012 Modified at 20% Span, NACA 0011 Modified at 43.7% Span, Anhedro 5 degrees 30 minutes at Quarter Court, Incidence 3 degrees 30 minutes at Roof, Sweep Back at Quarter Court 25 degrees, the tail unit is a cantilever all metal T tail. All surfaces swept, Anhedro on tailplane. Landing Gear, Retractable Tricycle Type, Nose unit retracted rearward by hydraulically driven ball screws. Main unit rotated through 90 degrees and retracted inward via hydraulically driven gearbox. Single nose shock absorber and four main gear shock absorbers are of Bendex oleo pneumatic dual chamber type. Four wheels on nose unit steerable to plus or minus 60 degrees. Power plant. Four General Electric TF39GE1C turbofans, each rated at 191.2 kN or 43,000 lb force. 12 integral fuel tanks and wings between front and rear spars, comprising two outboard main tanks, each 13,874 liters, excuse me, or 3,665 US gallons or 3,052 Imperial gallons. Two inboard main tanks, each 14,755 liters or 3,898 U.S. gallons or 3,246 imperial gallons. Two outboard auxiliary tanks, each 18,034 liters or 4,764 U.S. gallons or 3,000... Ah, my eyes are failing me today. 3,967 imperial gallons. Two inboard auxiliary tanks, each... 18,401 liters or 4,861 U.S. gallons or 4,078 imperial gallons. Two outboard extended range tanks, each 15,865 liters or 4,191 U.S. gallons or 3,490 imperial gallons. And two inboard extended range tanks, each 15,883 liters or 4,196 U.S. gallons or 3,494 imperial gallons. Total capacity, 493,624 liters, or 51,150 US gallons, or 42,591 imperial gallons. Accommodation, standard crew of five, consisting of pilot, co-pilot, flight engineer, and two loadmasters. With rest area for 15 people, relief crew, couriers, etc., at front of upper deck. Basic version has seats for 75 troops on rear part of upper deck, Aft the wing box. Provision for carrying 270 troops on lower deck, but aircraft is primarily employed as a freighter. Typical loads include two M1 Abrams tanks or 16 3 quarter ton lorries, or one M1 and two Bradley armored fighting vehicles, or 10 combat ready Marine Corps LAV light armored vehicles, or six AH 64 Apache attack helicopters, or 10 Pershing missiles with tow and launch vehicles, or 36 standard 463L load pallets. <laughs> the Pershing missiles. Shows how dated this is, considering that hasn't been in service forever, basically since the end of the Cold War, a little after maybe. Avionics, communications and navigation equipment to military requirements, Bandex color weather radar, three dis, uh, sorry, uh, Dyco inertial navigation units with triple mix capabilities. 
Special equipment includes updated electronic malfunction detection, analysis, and recording subsystem, MADR2, which scans and analyzes more than 800 test points. Dimensions external, wingspan 67.88 meters or 222 feet, 8.5 inches. Wing cord at root, 13.85 meters or 45 feet, 5 and a quarter inches. At tip, 4.67 meters or 15 feet, 4 inches. Wing aspect ratio, 7.75. Length overall, 75.54 meters or 247 feet, 10 inches. Height overall, 19.85 meters or 65 feet, 1 and a half inches. Tail plane span, 20.94 meters or 68 feet, 8 and a half inches. Weights and loadings for 2.25 Gs. Operating weight empty equipped, 169,643 kilograms or 374,000 pounds. Max payload, 118,387 kilograms or 261,000 pounds. Max fuel weight, 150,815 kilograms or 332,500 pounds. Max takeoff weight, 379,657 kilograms or 837,000 pounds. Max wing loading, 659 kilograms per meter squared or 13.548 pounds per square foot. Max power loading, 496.4 kilograms per kilonewton or 4.88 pounds per pound force. Length, 75.54 meters. Height, 19.85 meters. Wingspan, 67.88 meters. Max takeoff weight, 379,657 kilograms. Max wing load, 659 kilograms per meter square. Max level speed, 496 knots. Service ceiling, 10,895 meters. Takeoff run of 2,530 meters. A landing run of 725 meters and a max climb rate of 525 meters per minute. Here we got two photos in the photo album. What looks like it's either taking off or landing. And then we have one must have just taken off or it's on final approach. Uh, I think on final approach because notice how the flaps are down, the gear is down. And it's probably got a little bit of an up upward tilt, but not the one you'd see on takeoff. This almost, coloration of this almost makes it look like it was a... Uh, prototype or something because it's not all the uh, the drab gray that you see these days but and in game they're with their original or, or an older green color scheme as are uh, most cargo aircraft i think it's supposed to be evocative of uh way back in the day you could sometimes find like i remember seeing a photo where you could see uh some c-130s uh with like woodland camouflage which was kind of cool but then they moved i don't know sometime around the 80s 90s they moved like all the cargo cargo craft to this like low visibility gray camel that persists to this day on most combat aircraft now so, but that is the c5b galaxy so with that thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there we'll see you then